Explosions, explosions, explosions. Just Cause 3, the next installment in the popular explosive series, is set to come out on December 1st. If you have been following the developers' social media, then you might have noticed a ton of competitions in which you could have won thousands and thousands of dollars worth of prizes. That was really cool to see. It is always nice when a developer tries this hard to interact with their players. But then again, you never really know do they really care or do they just want you to buy the new game. I'm saying this because we know that Just Cause 3 won't have multiplayer, which is a really odd decision, because everyone loves the modded multiplayer for Just Cause 2. It seems like a really shitty thing to rely on modders to add a very important part of the experience to the game, but I do hope that modders do a good job because the multiplayer aspect of the game is going to prolong its lifespan greatly. So what changes are coming with Just Cause 3? The biggest change is that the destruction, probably the most noticeable feature of the game, has been drastically improved. They refer to the new destruction as a pressure-based explosion algorithm. Explosions should be more realistic now with a visible shockwave that will push the debris from the blast area. What I'm looking forward to the most is the destructible bridge. Ever since Medieval Engineers I have had a thing for destroying bridges and I can't wait to get my hands on a rocket launcher and fuck shit up. But since the game won't have an official multiplayer and the core gameplay seems to be very similar to the previous game, we gotta focus on the story a bit, since that is the only thing that, aside from the improved destruction, is noticeably different. The developers really focused on the protagonist and the antagonist, and besides the motion capture was done in full performance capture as they call it, meaning all of the scenes were captured using real humans with sensors. They captured the facial animations too, which is a really great way to help the players immerse themselves into the story and the overall game as well. The missions in the game will serve as an excuse for you to try different awesome things that the game will be offering. There will be up to 5 times more missions compared to Just Cause 2, which is also very good news, since missions help illustrate purpose to the game and what the protagonist is doing there. With a lot of missions, players have a lot of space to find meaning and stay interested in playing the game. Of course, there will always be those who just wanna blow shit up, I'm pretty sure I'm one of them, but still, more depth to the story is always welcome, if you ask me. Smaller changes come in the terms of the AI. When you decide to fuck up, for example, a police station, rebels will come and help you out, and you can pretty much leave them to finish the fuckage. There will be factions on the island, and they will fight between themselves without your involvement, which really increases the dynamic of the environment, but the game protagonist does not want constant warfare and chaos, so I assume that the carnage will be controlled somehow, and the game will not allow itself to become post-apocalyptic. And lastly, I would like to discuss the wingsuit. The wingsuit is pretty amazing if you ask me, but the fact that you can glide your way through the entire map using the grapple is a bit silly. I know it makes traveling from one spot to another easier, but I think it kinda loses its charm if it can be used constantly. I feel like the wingsuit is going to replace all other forms of travel very quickly and become the main and only way people will move around in the game. That sounds really poopy, so I'm hoping that it will get old fast so people can enjoy other aspects of traveling as well. I'm very much looking forward to Just Cause 3 and I'm fairly certain it will offer a satisfactory single player experience. I'm hoping modders will add a good multiplayer to the game so it can be enjoyed further, but it really saddens me that the developers didn't add the multiplayer themselves. Perhaps there is hope that such a thing will happen for Just Cause 4. Let me know in the comments what do you expect from Just Cause 3 and are you at all interested in the story or do you just want to blow shit up? Also, if you still haven't bought the game, I'll be sharing the website I'm using for my purchases, so feel free to check it out. Easy and cheap, just how my Eastern European jeans like it. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.